Hi, I'm Paris, and this is the 15 figure approach to Pilates. And before I start an actual video with exercises in it, I wanted to cover some of the basics of Pilates, um, just to keep an eye out for certain things while you're working out and to be mindful of certain things um, throughout your whole entire regimen. One of the first things is breathing. As silly as it sounds, breathing is absolutely critical to what you get out of your exercise and how your body will respond to different exercises. The first thing to keep in mind is lateral breathing. And what that entails is breathing using the muscle of your diaphragm to pull air into your lungs rather than pulling air in through your nose or forcing your air through your mouth. The way to keep an eye out and know that you're properly breathing laterally is uh, a motion in your ribs. When you use your diaphragm to pull air into your lungs, your um, the capacity of your lungs is really a lot more impressive than if you were to breathe through your nose. So you should feel your lower ribs expanding rather than your upper chest expanding. If that's not something that you're used to or if you're not used to really engaging your diaphragm to breathe, um, I would encourage you to take a slow 30 breaths and just really make sure you can feel your lower ribs moving more than the rest of your chest. and. Once you do that a few times, you'll get more used to it and it'll become more natural to you. Also, keep an eye on that while you're doing your workouts and it'll become more and more like second nature um, and you won't have to think about it as much. The other thing to keep in mind uh, concerning breathing when you're doing Pilates is the actual rate of your respiration. And what this entails is timing your breathing to your actual motions in the exercise. So with each flexion of an exercise, you would inhale, and each extension, exhale. Regardless of whether you're working your legs or your arms or back, whatever you're covering at that moment, your breathing will be timed to that motion. Okay, that's all for breathing, but there are some other things that you should be mindful of when doing Pilates. And um, one of these things is physical limitations. Um, Pilates is used a lot for physical therapy and physical rehabilitation and that's actually how I was introduced to Pilates um, but one thing that I always want to stress and always want everyone to know is that in the beginning if you have um, any physical disadvantage I guess um, like I have scoliosis when I first started doing Pilates I had to be a lot more careful about how far I would exert my body um, with each exercise so I like to stress that if you have any type of physical limitation when you're starting this regimen, um, begin with what's most comfortable for you and as you go through and a few weeks down the road or a few months down the road, um, you'll start to see more and more improvement and you'll start to see that you're capable of doing more um, than you would be before. But from the beginning, I would advise um, only going so far as your body can handle. Don't push past your thresholds. Um, if you feel like it's too much, then it is too much. And you should stop or move on to a different exercise um, or a different stretch, whatever you're having to be doing at the time. Basically, don't stretch yourself too far. Don't push yourself farther than you should. And um, you'll keep from hurting yourself or becoming too sore or pulling any ligaments or tendons or anything crazy like that. That's my little spiel for uh, those who might be looking for this for physical therapy reasons, especially whatever part of your body um, is the issue. If you have a tender spot or a sensitive spot in your body, um, treat it well. Don't overexert yourself and don't put your body in danger. Okay, another thing that I feel the need to stress is um, something that's uh, most people might find a little trivial, but I really stress stretching before every workout. Whether one day you decide to only work out your legs or only work out your arms and like, oh, I'm not going to do that much today. It's okay. It won't matter if I stretch or not. No. <laughs> you must stretch every time before any exercise. Um, you really want to, first of all, give your body time to through your stretches um, to get your respiration even and really get your body into the right mode to be doing Pilates or to be doing any exercise really. Also, you want to make sure that 
every time that you go into doing a workout with Pilates, you want to stretch out your muscles and limber yourself up, get yourself ready to um, be doing these kind of exerting exercises. Even though Pilates is a low impact uh, way to exercise, it's really, really impacting on your actual body. Like your actual muscles will get a lot of impact out of it, but um, it's just these small, delicate movements. Regardless of what you might be doing, you need to stretch every time. I cannot stress it enough. I'm going to include in this first video some of the basic stretches that you can go through for um, arm stretches or for stretching out your back and legs, just a general overview of all the stretches that I usually do before um, starting my Pilates workout. And all of these stretches are also part of my 15-figure um, approach to Pilates. So if you're looking to really hit it as hard as you can, these are also a part of um, the workouts that you need to do 15 reps of each. You'll really feel the uh, impact of the stretches and how much more your body is able to do in each exercise.